escapism is a very subtle way of curtailing your growth. Friday of the second week of Advent reflection. My dear friends, you know, if you read Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, you will find devil will have many ways to tempt you. So he's there to disturb your growth. He's there to curtail your maturity because he has a problem with you because you are chosen. So he will do whatever he wants to, to, to curtail you, your freedom, your, your journey to holiness because that will lead you to heaven which he lost at a point. So exactly that's why we have a, we, we can we can pass the ball to another person. We can that that's what we call escapism. We can have a thousand reasons without dealing the problem, without dealing it. If you go to the doctor and uh, uh, you beat about the bush, you will never be healed. So at a point, you must accept. You must say it's mena culpa, mena culpa, mena maxima culpa. It's my fault. So always it's important that you probe into your heart and see what I have missed in this scenario. That is important, my dear friends. Otherwise, you will always, you will always fall short of that journey. That's that, that of course you have to understand properly. So all of the all of the, all the ways, every time you will find fault with the other person. Something happens, that person, because of that person. Think about the first fall of that man. And when God came and asked, Did you eat from the forbidden fruit tree? And they said, I don't know. The wife, the, the woman. Eve gave me. And when he, when the Lord asked from Eve, he said, the serpent deceived me. So how they pass the ball without accepting it. So it's a, there is a, we have a nature of passing the ball. We have a nature of not accepting. We, we made another person culprit of the blunder. So as long as you do this, you will never grow. You will never be healed. You will hide the situation. Hiding? Hiding won't deal with the... Hiding, in hiding, you will, you will never experience healing. So that's exactly why the Lord is saying, To what shall I compare this generation? Is it like children sitting in the marketplaces? and calling to their playmates, we played the flute for you and you did not dance. We sang, we sang and you did not mourn. So we did our part, but you didn't do your part. So it's a way of washing their hands. It's a pilot culture. You wash the hand. So that's up to you. You are never responsible for the other person. You are, not, you, don't, you are not ready to take the responsibility. When God asked Cain, where is your brother? He said, am I the keeper of my brother? So they, they say, we have this nature where we don't accept. As long as we don't do this, you will never overcome my dear friends. Your brother is your, your brother, your sister, everyone is connected. It's important that we cannot wash our hands. We cannot be another pilot. No. So that's exactly why the Lord is saying, For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. Son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, look at him a glutton and drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. 
so they they are not ready to accept either extremes no so because it challenged their mind effects it challenged their ways they don't want to change so they will always find fault with another person so when john came with self mortification self sacrifice the we a voice from the wilderness they said we is possessed because that word that voice from the wilderness challenged their ways my dear friends so it's think about your life think about it god has given you many things to be changed his word is like a double edged sword which will pierce your heart check your thoughts so it of course it's hurting it causes pain definitely but then you have to ask you have to ask and ask again is it because of me is stop and probe into your heart like a turtle you know like a turtle with a sound he, it goes in not come comes out he always with the sound goes in think about mother mary she pondered everything in her heart without throwing it to other person no she pondered it in her heart it's important you have to stop and think advent is a time that you have you have your call to check and recheck that's exactly why the first reading beautifully says i am the lord your god who teaches you to profit who leads you in the way you should go so in that connection when you accept that i am i'm wrong it's my fault god find it very easy to direct you and that when you pass the ball of course he can't deal with you until you your heart is broken a broken heart he will never despise so that's exactly why oh that you had paid attention to my commandments then your peace would be, be would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea my dear friends your offerings would be would have been like the sand and your descendants like the grain like its grains their name would never be cut off or destroyed from before me so if you listen to my commandments so this is exactly what the lord want you to do accept even 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 the other person is fully wrong even there st paul says consider that the other person you are lower than the other person other persons as holy than you so it's important that's that's why that's the exact the meaning of christmas where jesus came to the world to accept he was spotless he was sinless but he was born in a crib and he was born in a poor family and he had to die a curse death because he had to accept it he was he was without sin that punishment is not just in his eyes not not just before him yet he was unjustly judged and he was put to death and he accepted like a sheep taken to the slaughter so that's how he redeemed the world so more you throw you will have a comfortable life but you will never grow the men you throw you will never grow so accept it mena kulpa mena kulpa mena maxima kulpa my fault it's my fault lord think about it have a nice day may god bless you